preventing serious and long-term health effects. However, in some cases, surgery may be necessary as a treatment option. Here today to talk about thyroid surgery and what to expect is Dr. David Coletti, a general surgery specialist for Hartford HealthCare. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So how do patients typically get referred to see a surgeon for thyroid surgery? So for most thyroid surgery cases that are referred, they'll come through endocrinology, the medical arm of our specialty, and they get a thorough workup there. Um, most of the time it, it falls into, so to speak, two categories, a functional problem where their gland is overactive, or sometimes it's a nodule that we're, we're concerned that could have a cancerous um, mechanism that we need to treat. Um, those are the two main uh, arms that patients get to us surgically. All right, doctor, what should patients expect in a workup of a thyroid problem and expect to discuss with their surgeon? Yeah, good question. So you, you should start with a very thorough history and physical exam with your surgeon. Um, in general, they should be looking at some laboratory work to make sure that the nodule or the, or the lesion isn't overactive. And then an ultrasound almost is invariably um, done at every surgical and or endocrinology workup for a thyroid problem. Tell us how a thyroid surgery is performed. So in our minimally invasive surgery world, the standard of care right now is still an open procedure where an incision is made in the neck and then the surgical team will go in and identify the anatomy. There's unbelievably important structures that we need to identify nerves that control your voice that need to be protected and appreciated, um, and then uh, glands that need to be preserved that control calcium. Those are the important landmarks. In general, there are two operations that we do. One is a partial removal of the thyroid gland, and then the other is a complete removal of the thyroid gland. Most of the time that covers the, uh, the clinical problem. Doctor, are there any risks to getting the surgery done and what can patients expect uh, with recovery? Good question. So there are risks always with surgery. Um, fortunately for thyroid surgery, they're very small in percentages. Um, the nerve injuries are the ones that most patients are most concerned about because it affects their voice. Um, there are calcium problems that we need to appreciate with that operation, but the percentages are all in the less than 5% category in general. All right, Dr. Patients. Oh, I think we are almost out of time. Dr. David Coletti, we thank you for all this great information about thyroid surgery. We appreciate it.